Thanks for joining me today, guys. We're going to be tying the Sea Deucer. This is a great fly for bass, originated two fish bass. Um, usually tied in white and red, and that's what we're going to do today. For hook choice, you want something with a pretty uh, thick wire and uh, um, something with an extra long shank hook. This is the Mustad 3407. So, we're going to take some. Some hackle feathers, okay, um, white to tie this red and white uh, seducer, which is the most common color, it's the original color. And we're going to reverse them so that way they're pointing outward, just like so. And if they've got to bend some direction, um, bend them upward as you can see, like that. Okay, we're going to measure out how long we want, and that's about right for me. I like these a little longer in the back. Luckily, hackle feathers tend to be a little more stiff, so I'm not going to necessarily foul up on the on the hook too often. It will happen, but not too often. So then now we've got uh, we want to pull off some of the fibers off the back end of your uh, your hackle feathers. Okay, so that leaves leaves something to tie in, and we want to take those two pieces and split them on either side of the hook here. And we can go ahead and tie that in. Okay, then we want to take a piece of crystal flash. I'm using silver today. Get creative though and use whatever color you want. All right, so we want to tie that in um, on one side of the of the um, feathers. Okay, so a little bit longer than what you have the feathers at. Let's go ahead and get those tied in. We want to double it up on itself here, tie in on the other side of the feathers. Okay. And if you tie those a little long, just let's go ahead and trim those off. Okay. Next, we're going to take some more hackle feathers. You want something with maybe a little more narrow. Uh, fibers, a little shorter fibers, um, and try to get one a little bit longer. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing to prepare it. We're going to cut off the back end and pull off some of these fibers. Okay, and we can go ahead and tie that in. And we can bring our thread about three quarters of the way up. We want to leave a little bit around the top. I'm going to bring that back a little bit more. Um, so we're, we're going a, a little more than halfway. Okay. And then we want to take our hackle pliers and attach that onto the back of our feather. And we can just start wrapping. So. Once you realize what direction it's going to wrap as you start, you want to pull some of the fibers off of that, that side that's going to be wrapping against the, the hook. That'll help ease it into the wrap. If your fibers are sticking together, just separate them a bit. And we can just capture that in. Tie off the excess. I'm sorry, cut off the excess. Once you capture that hackle, you can go ahead and put a dot of super glue to ensure that that stays in there. Okay, next we're going to take our red hackle and we want to, you don't need as long of a piece of that hackle because we're just doing a short little little section. So you want to get it from the, from the top of the, the feather where it's shorter uh, fibers. Cut off the excess so you don't have to work with too much there. Go ahead and tie in just like you did. Bring your thread all the way up. See what direction it's going to go. Pull off the fibers of the side that's going to touch the hook shank. And then we can put our hackle pliers on. 
start wrapping. Make sure those fibers are flaring out like they are. And then you can go ahead and tie that in. All right. Any fibers that are sticking out the front, cut that off. Okay. Add a dot of super glue just to make sure that that stays on. Then we can tie in our weed guard. So our weed guard, a little trick for that. I'll show you how to do that. You want to double up a, a piece of mono. Okay, make sure that the mono is angled backwards when you tie it in. And we can just put that loop over top of the, the hook eye and just wrap over it. Now, you don't want to bring it down or it'll be hard to wrap over. You want to keep it up where it's just at um, where both ends are touching the touching the eye. Okay, make sure you try not to wrap in any of your hackle. Just wrap around that like so. Around that uh, mono, and you can do it like two or three times, and you can just pull that mono down. Like so. Do a couple wraps. Really get that in there tight. Go ahead and whip finish. And then we want to. Really make sure that this weed guard is over top, right in the center, to block anything from that hook. Then we want to cut it just past where the hook is. So we want to come down and then go down just a little bit here. Go ahead and cut that off. We can add, if you would like, even another dot of super glue to ensure everything stays put. But you are done. That is the seducer. This is the original style. This is how they tied it before with the with the hackle feathers. They've got some new age materials now that make it a little easier to tie. Um, could be even better uh, type of fly to tie uh, to fish now with these new materials. But um, this is the original way. If you want to fish it this way, um, it's a fun fly to tie. Very easy to tie and very very effective for bass. If you like what you see and you want to subscribe, go ahead and click right here. Um, please do. I've got more videos coming and go catch the fish guys. Thank you.